I started at Carleton in 1999, 1998, 1996, years. 23 years. Welcome to this year's Employee Recognition Celebration. An institution like Carleton College depends on a host of individuals who bring their unique skills, talents, and experiences together. Today we honor some of those employees who have retired or are retiring this year. Congratulations to everyone. This has been a while ago. <laughs> I realize actually since birth, I've never lived more than a half block from the campus of Carleton College. I came in, interviewed, I got home. 10 minutes later, the phone rang and it was Betty Barsness, gonna be my new supervisor. She told me I had the position and when could I start? And that was my best memory of coming to the campus. Uh, Carleton has in our profession a very high reputation and, and so uh, it was a little scary. My first day of teaching, I do remember, I was quite terrified. I hadn't taught in 14 years. Both of my kids were in college at that point, and they had given me great advice about teaching. For example, on the first day to tell students they can call me Beth, <laughs> which I've always done ever since. The first day I saw my office, and it was the office that Paul Willstone uh, had held. It was the KRLX office before I had it, so there's all these shelves that have been created for record albums. When I first started at Carleton, my office was in an old World War II Quonset hut. My first day, uh, the students that I was working with asked me if I knew how to throw a frisbee, and they took me out onto the bald spot, and there we went, and I learned. You know, we, we just didn't have the technology that we have now. We didn't have desktop computers, we didn't have PCs. Um, we had CRT terminals that we, uh, we keyed in very basic data. I don't actually remember my first day on the job. My career has sort of been measured by events. Uh, my first Carlton event was the traditional opening convocation ceremony right here in Skinner Chapel, during which Garrison Keeler received an honorary doctorate. My first thought was, this is a beautiful campus. It's just gorgeous. And then after a few weeks, I thought, I feel really at home here. These students seem really motivated and happy and smart, and I'm happy to be here. My first memories at Daisy Moses, what has struck me all along is that it was an open space, that it was a kind space, that the people who came here um, were interesting. <laughs> the students and I had fun cooking and cleaning right off the bat. <laughs> The first few days I was at Carleton, I was uh, out walking walking around campus and I, I encountered a group of um, student streakers. And I remember thinking, what have I got myself into? Winning MIC championships, certainly going to the NCAA tournament, probably almost equally as well as keeping the goat away from St. Olaf and keeping it on Carleton's campus. One of my favorites has always been reunion, actually, because during a reunion, the students are suddenly older. You know, they're always 18 to 21, and then they disappear. And at reunion, uh, there's a degree of uh, maturity, and that's really special. The president would have a reception uh, what we call the shrimp thing, platters of shrimp that people would have and so on. Actually, I, I think they still do that. And it wasn't just the shrimp. It was a chance for people to see each other at the beginning of the year. The Carleton tradition that goes back to the 40s and 50s of wishing people rabbit rabbit on the first day of the month. Chuck Donnell, dear former colleague who's no longer with us, he would call us on the first of the month and the first thing he would say was rabbit rabbit. Mary Niebuhr, another colleague, and I surprised him on one of his visits to campus, and we had rabbits everywhere in his office and around his office, and watching his face when he walked in the door and he saw the first of the rabbits was just priceless. I had two students, house residents, uh, Dan and Pete, and they had two 
young brothers that they were mentoring in the community and they were elementary school. And in the spring, every Sunday after brunch, their mother would drop them off and we would all go work out in the garden. And we had a really rotten wheelbarrow that was just falling apart from Daisy's time. It was just rusting out. It was just a bunch of holes. One day after brunch, these little boys came to me and they said, Julia, we have a surprise for you. The very best surprise of your very best life. And then they wheeled in front of me a wheelbarrow that they had saved probably $2 to help buy. They were so proud they put their savings into it. And it just um, was just a lovely, a lovely image of what it's been like to be at Daisy's. Being able to hear Maya Angelou speak in the chapel, it was, uh, it was fabulous. And also the day President Bill Clinton came to campus. Thank you very much. Getting to see the President of the United States when he came that one year. I didn't think I'd ever have that opportunity and there he was standing in front of me. The commencement ceremony in June 2000 when President Bill Clinton was the featured speaker. Getting to greet the President of the United States as he stepped out of his limousine and to personally escort him into Hewlings Hall was a high honor. My time at Carleton has really helped me appreciate a healthy restlessness at the institution that I think is part of the culture and part of what helps Carleton continue to change in ways that are really important. The one thing I miss most in retirement are my colleagues who became my partners, who became my friends, and I've been truly blessed. The cohort that I entered with back in 1991 it was a big year for hiring. Those people I've stayed very close with and we've continued to celebrate events and be friends, not just colleagues. It's been a wonderful place to work and I've had the pleasure of working with some of the best, most talented people. Part of the reason I've stayed at Carleton so long is to be able to work with such great colleagues. And for my team, I really appreciate their creativity, their dedication to their crafts, their loyalty to the mission of the college. Our staff here in the financial aid office, they enjoy their work and they enjoy each other. They don't take themselves too seriously. Sometimes I don't think they take me very seriously, but that's actually a part of the culture that we have here and I hope that continues. Those that I have in cinema and media studies have been great to work with, very creative, always open to new ideas and always thinking forward. I have just been so blessed with the friendships that I've developed over the years at Carleton. I love working with Carleton students and I will miss that a lot. Students are the center of the college. Students here are just special in their freshness, their eagerness, their energy, and I've really enjoyed getting to know students and staying in touch with some. I really have to take my hat off to admissions because they have managed to every year get really smart, highly motivated people who are really interesting. It's endlessly fascinating to teach students here. We're working in a studio television environment where it's, it's pretty personal. Students are learning how to act and they're learning how to direct and how to cut live video. It's great fun. Our players at Carleton are not just bright students and talented athletes, they're also really high character kids which lead to exceptional team chemistry and relationships between the players and the coaches throughout the season and hopefully throughout their lives. The thread that attracts students, the thread that keeps alumni coming back, the threads that keeps the parents wanting the guest room, even though it's a small little space, is this feeling that the house tries to maintain that Daisy passed on. And that is generosity, hospitality, kindness. I can't say one bad thing about anybody. I've enjoyed every moment here. That's the reason why I stayed in the position. I'm really gonna miss them a lot. Uh, I'm having a hard time retiring. Thank you, thank you, everybody, for making this a wonderful 45 years of my life. I'll never forget. Thanks. Maggie, come over here. Yeah. You're retiring, too. You say goodbye to all your student friends. 
I remember at the first new student welcome that I went to, quoting Larry Gould, then President Steve Lewis told the students, from this day forward, you are part of Carleton and Carleton is a part of you. And that's how I feel. I have been very identified with Carleton and I'm not leaving. I'll, I'm leaving my office. I'm not leaving the college.